My name is Sadaka Camille. I am in Los Angeles, California, but I'm originally from Chicago, Illinois. Before Book More TV, I felt like I was struggling with figuring out, not self-confidence in that I felt like I was a bad actor or anything, but it's like, what is going on? Because I feel, I felt like I'm good, I'm, uh, I have talent, but I felt, I just felt like with each no or with each thing I wasn't getting or the close but no cigars, like what, you know, what is going on or what am I doing wrong? Or why am I not seeming to go to that next? Like I'll get close and then it just seems like it just doesn't happen. So then I would struggle with getting very frustrated then kind of wanted to just give up in the past, not so much now, but in the past, just like, forget it, I'm done. Like, just forget it, I'm done. And also, like, kind of, I'm tired of this. You know, I'm tired of this. I don't feel like I have to prove anything to anybody. I'm just, you know, tired, you know, um, just, I, I didn't feel like taking any more classes, honestly. I didn't feel like doing any more headshots or anything like that. I felt like I, I put all that money and time in and it doesn't seem like it's, it's making me get to the next point I want to be at. So a lot of the time I was just kind of like with classes and stuff, I honestly was like, I'm not doing that because I felt like I went to school for this and <laughs> I've been doing this for a long time. And I just didn't honestly want to like invest any more of my money honestly into it and something I felt wasn't giving me something back that I felt like I was putting into it. So it would just make my attitude like, almost being in a relationship with somebody like you're not giving back to me what I'm <laughs> giving to you so I would get mad like I would I, I would I would get very mad and frustrated and I just felt like though this is something I know I want to do and I'm supposed to be doing and it's honestly all I've done since I've gotten out of school but I just it's just like what what you know what is going on with me that it just doesn't seem like this is happening at the next level I want it to happen at when I decided to join the course, Book More TV, I came from a space of being more open. Um, one, because you, I was familiar with you, you're my friend, you know, you know, I know that you knew a mutual friend, and then I was also looking at your body of work too and things like that. And I was hesitant with these online courses because I didn't feel I learned good that way. I didn't feel like, I like to be live and in person with people. So I just felt like usually with courses and things where people are doing them online, I'm like, oh, I, I, I don't know. Cause I like to be live. I like my, to see my coach and I like to just be live and in person with people. So, but when I, so I opened myself up, I was very open. I was like, you know, so I could just do this. And I was from the very first week, I was very like, okay, this is, the way you set, the way um, Christine set things up um, was just, it, it was very personal, even though it was, we were learning in this way. It was very, very, I, I felt like you were directly talking to each of us, even though you had, you had a lot of students, right? But I felt like you were really personalizing it for each, for each of us as actors. And I think it helps that, of course, you are an actor because you can really feel, you know, all those things that we go through as actors, right? Sometimes when it's just a person who maybe just teaches it, but they're not necessarily in the business and doing it at the same time, you can kind of feel that too. But um, to have a fellow actor be in it, she's doing it and, and talking to us and sharing with us her knowledge was just, it just made the course very personal for me. The very first week about the mind state, I didn't feel, I didn't feel like it was something I struggled with with confidence in terms of being an actor, I felt I'm a pretty confident person, but I felt like I had a lot of aha moments. And because I felt that way, I'm like, okay, you know, I don't know if that's, you know, um, how can I say this? I didn't, I didn't feel like, well, that's, that's not really my problem. I feel like I have confidence, but it was certain points, even when you dealt with the first week of things we tell myself. I know I kept telling myself over and over, I don't want to get no new headshots. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. I feel like I did this already. And that was still not the proper attitude to have <laughs> if you're trying to, you know, progress. I just know for a long time I had that and I just had this attitude of, I don't feel like I should have to do this anymore. All those things. And I, in the first week, I was able to let that go. I was able to just be like, you know what? This is what it is. You're always learning. You're always elevating. You're always 
growing and maybe it's just not headshots with that person or class with that person but be open to you know just uh and this is the new way of doing things honestly so just being more open um the self tape <laughs> all the things about the self tape was very helpful for me because i am and that could be where i'm struggling too i usually went to somebody for my self tapes but um but having to kind of do this on our own now with the situation we're in, me and technology, and I could see it. Oh, my God. Like, when we first start having a tape and I send some things into people, I was like, oh, my goodness, this is so awful. And I know when I usually go to studio, uh, the person I go to, it looks better. And I know they're going to be like, Sadika, what, what, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> because I just, honestly, how the camera faces, all that stuff just how people might feel anxious about lines and things like that. That's how I feel with self tapes. I just, it just causes me so much anxiety. So that learning that getting comfortable, making it fun to get my backdrop, making it fun to get the lighting, br even bringing my son in on it. And I'm like, this is what it is. Cause I was always hesitant to have him read with me and things like that. So during your course, we just made it kind of like a family thing and even practicing um, with each other, like, holding the camera well let's see what works and it's, it's been very trial and error and getting the lighting right in our apartment because it's just sometimes weird with the lighting and stuff I felt Christine's personal um, coaching style was very hands-on even though we were doing this as an online course it had great energy so even if you feel like you're just having a week and you don't know like just the energy that she was able to give us being online and, and, and being on the court, uh, you know, the online course through the videos and the online call, calls, with, it was just very contagious. So even if you felt like you were having a moment that week, and I just felt like with this course, it was, she was just such a light and ball of energy that just wanted to keep you going. And just, it, it, you felt like this was your peer, but you felt like it was also just somebody that was coaching you and help and really helping you through. And even though you didn't get to see her live and in person, which I personally like, I just felt like she was there with you every step of the way. And to be as intricate and detailed about this business, about your self tapes, about auditioning, giving all that information and intricate detail and really be able to dig in, I've never experienced and I've been doing this for a long time. Anybody that just gives that great amount of detail and time <laughs> to an actor, I just, I just have it. If I had to speak to that actor who was on the fence once, cause I get it. I totally get the online. Like I said, I was like that. Look, I, I'll tell you something. I'm very honest. I do not, like, I don't play with my money and I don't play like with all these courses and things like that just cause everybody's doing it. So one great advantage was that she had, you know, you're able to kind of go in and study and look at her video. So I, I, I know I like that. I was like, okay, well, let me look at her. Let me look up Christine online. So I was able to do that and kind of do my research. And then I think you had a, a, a informational or a workshop or a course, a free workshop. So that was very helpful for, for us to actually go on to that meeting and, and see. And then I'm not going to lie, just as an actor, I think you just have to make, just, well, not even just as an actor, just as a person. If you're on the fence, I know what I did for myself as a person who's like that with courses and money and I'm a single mom and I have other things going on. I just honestly told myself, do it, do it. Because one, I was learning from somebody. I, like I said, if you, I in, if you look up on IMDb, this person is doing what it is you want to do. <laughs> you want to be on TV. This person is, she's on TV repeatedly. She's, she's doing this. And as far as money, you, it, it was great. You were able to do a payment plan and things like that. And I just personally told myself to make this investment. And I didn't, I'm, I'm in a different mode with money. So I just believe money and things and those type of things will come if you set your mind and, and it's something that you want to do that all of that will work out and come to place. And and that's what I learned as an actor too. Like when we, when we just as a person, when you say, okay, I want to do this, then everything else will start showing up. And that's what I did. And I, I haven't had any 
problems or snafus, and it's been a pleasure to pay for this. It's been a pleasure to pay for something that I feel is going to give me information, give back to me um, what I put into it. I just looked at it as a pleasure. I looked at it as a fun thing to do for myself as an actor. I looked at it as, as, as a, a new level for myself to invest in as an actor, just like I would if I was, you know, if I was in school taking a class. So I would say, I mean, I would tell them to do themselves the biggest favor. I've never seen a class or a person put this amount of energy and time into something um, as she has done. I just, I haven't seen it. And I, it, it did not hurt me to spend every penny that I did. It just, it didn't. I'm glad I did. And I'm glad I could give back um, to somebody who has poured that amount into me. It's my pleasure to pay her for that service. And that's just how I personally looked at it as an actor. <laughs>